Merry meet everyone, my pagan life here, and welcome to another video! I'm sorry if I look tired and if the environment looks sort of weird. I figured that I've been so horrible at uploading videos regularly that I didn't want to wait another day with uploading the video that I was planning on uploading. Hopefully you can forgive me, but I'm still not completely in the loop yet of after starting school. I was requested to do a video on the phases of the moon. That's what I'm planning on doing. And I'm sorry guys, but I'm planning on asking the same guy God darn question that I always ask in every single video I make. Why the frick am I talking about this? I'm gonna explain it shortly by referring to this statement that I found on wiccaspirituality.com. Each phase of the moon has its own energy and its own power. When spell casting, the more you can align with the universal flow of energy, the more powerful your spells will be. Basically, learning about magic, learning about spell casting and witchcraft isn't just about learning what it is and how to use it, but also when to use it. I guess you can say that traditionally speaking, it's been common to practice according to certain days, uh, certain seasons, certain moon phases, because it's believed that certain days or certain seasons, certain moon phases, uh, are more appropriate for certain spells than others, and that practicing according to these will strengthen your magic in the way you want it to be strengthened. So let us talk a little bit about the moon phases. The most important keyword for the first phase, the new moon phase, is new beginnings. Spells that regard new beginnings or starting off fresh is absolutely perfect for this moon phase. It's also associated with optimism, hope and faith, uh, romance and love, and health. The waxing moon is the next moon phase and is also often associated with the maiden goddess. And the maiden goddess herself is often associated with, for example, youth. Other than that, the waxing moon also represents success, friendship, luck, growth and learning, strength, and positive transformation. Full moon, which is funny enough a pretty iconic moon phase, is often associated with the mother goddess. And for those who want to know, the mother goddess is often associated with motherhood, protection, and sexuality. Along with that, the full moon also represents achievement, knowledge, dreams and prophecy, and so on. It may also be important and funny to note that the full moon is considered to be the most powerful moon phase. If there is any spell you want to require that really requires a lot of energy or a lot of power, whatever you want to call it, then the full moon is definitely the moon phase for that specific spell that you're planning on performing. The waning moon is the next moon phase and is associated with the crone, also known as the wise one. A few other very iconic things that the waning moon represents is banishing and cleansing magic, as well as wisdom and letting go. Last one up is the dark moon, and the dark moon is somewhat similar to the waning moon, although the dark moon is more about deeper wisdom, as well as rest and peace. It's also about discovering mysteries about the goddess, about the world around us, about our own lives and ourselves. And letting go and banishing are also iconic for the dark moon, as you want to probably banish something from your life, as in difficult feelings, let go of difficult feelings, uh, it can be addictions, it can be bad habits, it can be whatever. But those are also iconic for the dark moon. That pretty much does it for the moon phases. Another interesting question you may or may not be wondering about is do I recognize these moon phases? Well, for the most part, no. The real reason for that is that I really don't have the time. You know, life happens and uh, at the stage that I am now, I just don't have the time to always practice during these different moon phases. But when I do have the time, I do try my best to do so. Other than that, I hope this clears some things up. I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned for more by subscribing. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next video here on My Pagan Life. Blessed be everyone.